Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, the International Space Station, ready for the event. Go ahead. Bank of Canada, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is uh, Jim Flaherty, Minister of Finance, here at the Bank of Canada. How do you hear me? Minister Flaherty, I read you uh, loud and clear. Welcome aboard. Governor and uh, distinguished guests, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce you to the first Canadian to operate the Canada Arm in orbit, the first Canadian to leave a spacecraft and walk in space, and the first Canadian to command the International Space Station, Commander Chris Hadfield. Commander, thank you for joining us and thank you for helping us unveil the new $5 banknote. Well, thank you very much, Minister Flaherty and uh, Governor Carney as well. Uh, and uh, welcome on board to the International Space Station. For the past, gosh, almost five months, it's been my home away from Earth. I just feel so incredibly privileged to be able to have seen Canada and the world the way you can from here. And from orbit, it's uh, really clear that uh, Canada's internal accomplishments have reached well beyond our, our extensive frontiers. And uh, these new polymer notes show us the, the type of thing that we can accomplish when we really put our minds to it. And let me show you an example of how we can reach new heights of innovation. C'est un grand honneur pour moi de participer maintenant au lancement de nouveaux billets canadiens de 5 dollars en polymer. On peut, moi peut-être, je peux vraiment dire que avec cette cette nouvelle série de billets, euh, nous avons atteint de nouveaux sommets. Audio, so you can hear us. Uh, but unfortunately, you don't have video, so you can't see us. And that's a shame, uh, because we have someone here today uh, who I know you would like to uh, see very much. Among our very distinguished guests, uh, there's one very special indeed, uh, Mrs. Helena Hatfield. Hi, Elena, uh, and thanks very much for being there to represent me, of course, but to represent the whole family. Um, and also to all the people that are from the Canadian Space Agency who really represent everybody that make this type of experience for Canada to become possible. Uh, I just want to tell you how proud I am uh, to be able to see Canada's achievements in space highlighted on, on our money. Uh, to feature Canada Arm 2 and Dex for the theme of the uh, $5 note. It really marks Canada's contribution to the International Space Station uh, program and especially to our longtime area of expertise in robotics. Uh, what we call on board, which was moving a little earlier today, the Canadian Mobile Servicing System, it's, it is the sophisticated robotics suite that assembled this place, this uh, incredible laboratory here orbiting the Earth every 90 minutes. And during the past months, in this very laboratory, uh, our crew, in fact, set the all-time record. With, with all of the support we've had, we were able to set the all-time record for the number of hours of research performed in space. And there are currently about 130 experiments running on board that are pushing back the very edge of what is possible. Commander, uh, can you tell us a bit about the uh, types of experiments you're conducting? Oh, sure. Uh, we got all sorts of things going on. Um, and in fact, the Canadian Space Agency, of course, is, is really heavily involved in, um, in leading and, and developing and helping to run a lot of the experiments that are on board. Something we've been really focusing on uh, from a Canadian side of this uh, multinational laboratory is health care. And uh, especially being able to reach remote communities like this little one that I live in. Uh, for example, a Canadian experiment that I've been working on today called Microflow, uh, is an unprecedented capability. It, it allows us to 
really do a biological sample analysis in that little box, testing for everything from uh, infections to uh, cancer markers. And uh, this is especially helpful, of course, on board for a long-duration spaceflight, but it's also directly applicable to people who live in remote parts of the country. And it'll be very help be helpful for people in, in small communities to be able to monitor their health close to where they live, rather than having to travel all the way to like a, a major center for routine tests. And conducting uh, other experiments on board also, uh, I've been doing uh, cardiovascular health and the effects of radiation. And I really think uh, that uh, Banting and Best, who are featured on the $100 note, would be delighted to see what Canada is involved in, the level of innovation in our research. And, and today, in fact, the arm was moving. It makes me especially proud to know that our robots are inventing and developing technologies with support from the folks at the agency uh, to refuel failing satellites. And it was only 50 years ago that uh, Canada launched our very first satellite, Alouette. Uh, in my lifetime, we've gone from one small satellite to commanding a spaceship. And uh, it, it's just so much that we've achieved, right from Marc Garneau, of course, through uh, all the people that have flown, Roberta Bondar, Julie Payette, uh, Robert Thursk, Bob Thursk, most recent person to live up here, and the other members of the Canadian Space Agency team. And one day, of course, I think David Saint-Jacques is there with you today. He and Jeremy Hansen will have a chance to further push back uh, what is possible for Canadians in Canada. But, you know, looking at the bill, the fact that Canadians themselves were involved in uh, choosing the images that are on this is really heartwarming to me because I've been so much in the thick of it. These banknotes will remind Canadians every time they, they buy a, a sandwich and a coffee and a donut uh, what we are capable of achieving just looking at it. And, and the choice sends a message directly to all future engineers and, and scientists and, and even astronauts uh, what is possible when we work together with dedication and, and collaboration. And Canada built Canadarm2. And Canadarm2 built the International Space Station. So there are really no limits, as evidenced, by what we can accomplish as a nation when we work together uh, with a common purpose. So uh, I want to thank you, uh, Governor Carney and Minister Flaherty, uh, for having me with you today to help unveil the $5 banknote. Uh, and I really look forward to using these new polymer notes uh, when I get back home. Hi, it's Jim Flaherty again. Did new commandant at field, qu'est-ce que qu'il faut faire pour devenir astronaut et le premier Canadien à commander la Station Spatiale Internationale. Oh, C'est une bonne question. Pour devenir astronaute, il faut, je pense, à moi, trois choses de plus importantes. Premièrement, d'être en bonne santé. Deuxièmement, il faut aussi avoir une éducation avancée, juste pour démontrer qu'on sait comment apprendre. Et troisièmement, il faut trouver uh, quelque chose qu'on aime dans la vie, uh, persévérer, essayer d'être le meilleur possible. Uh, David Saint-Jacques sait bien uh, dans notre uh, domaine. Mais à moi, quand j'avais aux environs de uh, 9 ans, uh, j'étais inspiré par les, les missions Apollo. Et les chances à ce temps-là de devenir astronaut étaient plus petites que minces, presque rien. Euh, alors, je suis devenu ingénieur et euh, pilote d'essai. Et si je n'avais pas euh, été sélectionné par l'Agence spatiale canadienne euh, pour devenir astronaute, j'aurais été très satisfait euh, de ma carrière parce que euh, j'aimais ce que je faisais. Et peut-être que c'est une leçon importante pour les jeunes Canadiens et Canadiennes. Mais maintenant, ça fait euh, 20, plus que 20 ans, 21 ans, euh, que je suis astronaute. Ça fait 20, 21 ans que je me prépare pour commander euh, un engin spatial. Et d'être, comme vous avez dit, monsieur, d'être le premier commandant de la Station spatiale internationale euh, est comme gagner une, une médaille d'or euh, aux Olympiques. Plus que ça, moi. Et donc, c'est un grand honneur de représenter le Canada et l'Agence spatiale canadienne. Thank you, uh, thank you, Commander. Um, your, your career is an example of excellence, and we all agree that there are, 
There are no shortcuts uh, to excellence. It requires tenacity. It requires dedication. Uh, and there's someone else uh, with us here today who can tell us about another historic Canadian achievement that also uh, took a long time. And so it's my pleasure uh, to introduce Paul G. Smith, the chairman of the board of Via Rail, uh, to say a few words. Thank you, Minister Flaherty, Governor Carney, and Commander, Commander Hetfield. Je suis ravi d'être parmi vous pour le dévoilement d'un nouveau billet de banque qui, chez VRI, nous tient particulièrement à cœur, soit le nouveau billet de 10 dollars qui met en vedette notre train, votre train, le Canadien. I'm supposed to hold this up, Minister, which I shall do dutifully. Really? Um, is that what you want? Yeah. Governor Carney, is this what you have? I share Commander Hatfield's sentiment when he says that anything is possible. With hard work and dedication and collaboration, that is true now, but it was also very true in the 1880s with the completion of the world's longest railway of the time. La pause en 1885, 1885 du dernier crampon du chemin de fer réunissant l'Est et l'Ouest de ce vaste pays, représentait une prouesse d'ingénierie dans le domaine des transports. N'oublions pas qu'à cette époque, le transport sur de longues distances au Canada dépendait des cours d'eau qui étaient gelés et impraticables cinq fois par année et les quelques routes qui existaient étaient en piètre d'état. Le développement économique d'un pays dépend du transport facile des personnes et des biens. Or, Le chemin de fer a permis à l'Ouest canadien de se développer et a donné lieu à une croissance importante et même phénoménale des centres urbains. The railroad brought this country together and allowed for great economic expansion, but not without enormous sacrifice and hardship. Workers coming from all over the world, including more than 15,000 Chinese workers, battled some of the most difficult working conditions imaginable. These workers heroes of Canadian history prevailed. And today, with the unveil of this new banknote, we salute their extraordinary achievement. L'image représentée sur le nouveau billet évoque aussi un paysage naturel d'une grande beauté, soit les rocheuses canadiennes. Les voyageurs à bord du Canadien découvrent une succession de paysages magnifiques, et j'espère que les gens auront le goût de voyager, et de voyager souvent en train, lorsqu'ils verront, verront ces nouveaux billets. S'ils le font, ils seront émerveillés devant les paysages extraordinaires qu'ils pourront contempler à la fenêtre de la voiture dans laquelle ils prendront place. John H. Chapman, a pioneer in launching Canada's space program, said in 1967, « In the second century of Confederation, Mr. Chapman said, the fabric of Canadian society will be held together by strands in space just as strongly as the railway and the telegraph held together the scattered provinces in the last century. I think the fact that we're having an event with Commander Hatfield participating from space is proof that Mr. Chapman was a visionary. A generation ago, no one could have imagined emailing or surfing the internet while traveling by train let alone by space. Now the frontiers of science and technology continue to expand and converge, changing the way we live, work, play, communicate, and travel. On behalf of Via Rail's president and CEO, Monsieur Marc La Liberté, and on behalf of everyone at Via, I'd like to thank the Bank of Canada for including us in this very special project, the creation of a banknote that will be in the hands of Canadians later this year. Thank you very much. Commandant Hadfield, le moment est venu de vous dire au revoir. Je vous remercie très sincèrement d'avoir pris le temps de vous joindre à nous pour ce dévoilement. Vous êtes un habitué des communications à très longue distance. Mais pour nous, cela représente une toute nouvelle expérience. 
C'était extraordinaire. C'était un, un honneur et un privilège. Non, merci à vous, Gouverneur. Et euh, cela a été un plaisir pour moi. And thank you very much. And uh, goodbye to everyone. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Thank you, Bank of Canada. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.